Oh, welcome back. Thank you for staying with us. So, Austin, I got to enjoy a brunch oh, with yeah. my mom today for Mother's Day. And the weather was beautiful, but, man, that wind was whipping. Yeah, but I tell you what, the wind and the low humidity made today a lot more enjoyable than your typical July day when we're near 90 degrees. I mean, the air was not stagnant today. So that was the break we got today. Sunshine and a lot of warmth out there. Now we're bringing back the moisture to Central Georgia, and we'll have to bump up the rain chances as well. But the rest of your evening is looking good. We've got sunshine at 86 in Macon right now. Now we'll stay dry through the evening, but here's what we're watching. Find this front nearly stationary right now off to our northwest. There's a lot of weather out ahead of it with showers and thunderstorms through Tennessee making their way into Alabama right now, and then some severe weather back towards Mississippi, Louisiana and Arkansas. The severe weather threat likely won't translate here. Those best ingredients are going to stay well to our northwest, but we are going to bump up the chances for showers and thunderstorms as we look ahead to your Monday. So here's the timeline. Again, the rest of this evening is looking great. It's still going to be breezy out there. We're going to bump up the, the humidity a little bit, but we should stay dry. Now by 9 and 10 and 11 o'clock tonight, we are watching that cluster of thunderstorms make its way into northern Georgia. I think because the storms are going to outrace their ingredients and because we're going to be losing that daytime heating, these storms should really weaken before they have a chance to reach central Georgia. So as we fast forward to three in the morning, you see that big time cluster of thunderstorms is now just a group of some light showers trying to push into our northwestern community. So if you live out north and west of Macon tonight, you may run into that, but for the most part, it should be a quiet night. For Monday, as that cold front gets closer to us, and as we start to warm up the temperatures again, we'll likely bubble up some showers and thunderstorms, especially for the afternoon. And those, for the most part, shouldn't be severe. Just some heavy rain and lightning out there from time to time. That front is going to be really slow to actually clear the area. And as it kind of lingers over the south over the next few days, that'll keep our rain chances elevated for much of the week. So storm threats tomorrow again. We could have some isolated pockets of heavy rainfall and also some cloud to ground lightning. But severe weather threats, damaging winds and hail look to be really, really low. And I'm not expecting any threat for tornadoes as we kick off your work week. Now let's fast forward to Tuesday. We still have the cold front now south of our area and there's not going to be a real good clearing behind that cold front. We'll have a couple weather disturbances riding along it to give us some rain chances. So during the daytime hours on Tuesday, rain chances are fairly low, only about 30%. But here comes one of those disturbances as we go into Tuesday night. So potentially a round of showers and thunderstorms as you head to bed on Tuesday. And we'll just have to sort out the timing of those waves of rain as we go into Wednesday and Thursday as well. Now this is interesting. Look at the rainfall totals are kind of aggressive with the latest run of the models showing nearly three inches. I don't think we'll quite get there, but we could see one to two inches as we go through the week. Here's your seven day forecast. So we have the rain chances through much of the work week. The other interesting part to watch, look at the temperatures on Thursday. For now, I have us at 65 degrees. The record cool high temperature for the day is 68. Some models have us in the 50s, so something to watch as we go through this week.